Okay, so to get started, what you do is you upload your sermon. You can do that in three ways. You can upload it from your computer, you can upload it from YouTube just by putting in the link, or you can even live stream straight into Sermon Shots. In this example, I'll just use the latest one that I have in here, and I'll go next. And then this is the step where you choose the design you want. So you can scroll through and find all kinds of different designs from lots of graphics, no graphics, uh, different uh, caption styles, sermon title, sermon hooks, that sort of thing. And you can go through and find what it is you're looking for. There's over 500 of these designs and we're adding new ones every week. So uh, there's something new all the time. I'll use this one as the example and I'll just go to the next step. And then this is the step where you actually cut the video down to the part that you want. There are a couple different ways that we can do this. We can use our new feature called AI Suggested Clips. And what this does is it allows you to just simply click on one of the suggestions and it'll take you right to that spot in the video where this happened and it will select the whole portion. So it'll pick a good starting point with uh, a continuous selection on that topic. So you can, you can start. We become Christian atheists who say we believe in God, but we act as though he does not exist. So you can listen to it all, you can read through it, and if there's a certain amount of time that you're trying to get to, let's say you're trying to stay under 60 seconds and it selects a portion that's a little too long, or you just want it to end or start a different spot, you have full control over what what is selected. So let's just say in this example, you want it to end under 60 seconds. You can start unselecting things. Let's say you feel like it actually could end up here better. Uh, just so happens, maybe it, it does end right at 59 seconds. You can listen to that all. You can, let's say you didn't like where it actually started and you wanted it to start more up here. You can select these pieces and it'll put all that together. This is just one clip. There will be multiple clips. There are anywhere from five to roughly 15 different clips with different options. Every one of them you just click on, it'll unselect the previous one, select a new one. And again, you can unselect, select as much as you want. I'm going one more, same thing. The other way, let's say we clear this, and let's say you remember an actual moment and you just want to get right to it. All you have to do is type in a keyword. So in this example, I remember he said the word impossible and the part that I was thinking about. It takes you right to that spot in the video and in the transcription. And so what you do is you simply click the buttons that you want or click the sentences that you want to select. Just click here, here. Let's just say you're going to come down here. Plus button, the shift and the plus button and it selects that whole part. If that's good, all we do is we move on to the next step, and this is where it puts it all together. So in about 15, 20 seconds, it will take that 30 second clip, cut it, and put it inside that template that we chose in step two. Okay, so now we can hit play. As I read through scripture, I notice that God loves impossible you. you can see right here that we can, we can change this. This is just a filler. So let's say you want that to say, possible odds that might be perfect you might need to resize from here you can do that you can bold unbold italicize this is where you can change the font size a little bit if you want you can reposition it a little if you want it to be right there you can change the fonts all of that let's say we move past where that exits just so we can see a little bit more and up here is where you can do all quick edits you can change the colors you can see by hovering over the different colors where those colors are so let's say you want to match the color in the background for example we can just go to like a, a blue then this one maybe we want a light blue change it like that and then the white let's just keep it where it is it automatically adds your logo so you can move this around, you can resize it, you can do what you want there. And then here also, 
you can move the video around. So say you want to move the, the speaker to the, the center a little more or just keep it where it is. You have the ability to do that. You can also change the height and resize. You can turn the logo on and off. You can also change the fonts. So you can change to some of the popular fonts. You can upload your own. You have the ability to do all that. I typically keep the templates where they are, but if you have a certain brand style that you like, you can change it there. And then here's where you can change a few other things. The text boxes, you can add a new text box if you want to. Captions, you have the ability to change um, different things here. But the last thing that I want to show is the music. So you can add different sorts of music in this. You can change the volume. And you can hear what the music does. And as I read through scripture, I notice that God loves impossible odds. He loves it when we dare to dream about doing something so big that if he doesn't show up, we're going to look foolish. If he doesn't show up. So that's one way of doing it. There's all kinds of different songs. Uh, let's say you want something more upbeat. We'll see what that, how that does. You can see the difference. And as I read through scripture, I notice that God loves impossible odds. He loves it when we dare to dream about doing something so big that if he doesn't show up, we're going to look foolish. If he doesn't. Okay. And if you like it, you last thing you can do here before you download is you can preview what it'll look like on the different platforms. So you can see what it looks like on Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, and TikTok. That way, you can move things around if you see that something maybe overlaps a little bit. If that's if that's more than you want it to be, oops. you can move this around a little if you want. And then last thing you do is you hit download and it's yours and you can share it wherever you want.